Audio is one of the more complex things in UEFN. You'd think just importing it is where it ends, but oh no, it's a lot deeper than that I'm afraid. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you everything, including importing audio, creating cues, randomized cues, concatenated cues, whatever that means, explaining the radio, audio player, and the sound mixer device, using audio in a cinematic sequences, sound attenuation, and control buses to control all the audio you have ever wanted. I will not be going over any patchwork devices as that's a tutorial in itself so just note that let's get right to it okay, so to get started with audio you need to first get audio now remember to not have any issues with publishing any custom audio the audio you must get either be created by you in public domain or a sound from fortnite now if you want to get audio that's let's say copyrighted like a song that you don't own or what have you similar to how youtube would spot copyrighted music using content id you need to make sure you have the right to even use the audio and you also need to attribute the audio in fortnite's island creative rules you must be original, respect IP ownership, and give credit where it's required. You can go back and pause and read through all of that. I also have the full thing linked in the description below if you want to give it a read. I can't really explain copyright law in detail as I'm not really a lawyer, but anyways, a good website to use for public domain audio is Pixabay. Just note, any audio in content ID that's on Pixabay will get your island rejected. I speak from experience. That goes for audio anywhere else on content ID. Similar to how YouTube would work, so if you think about it, anything you can't put on to a YouTube video while getting a copyright strike, you can't put into a Fortnite map. So anyways, in my content drawer, I've already imported a sound effect. If you want to import something, go into import and then find the file you need. Make sure your audio file is either a WAV, an AIF, a FLAC, or an AUG file. It's very important. You can't use MP3s. Now, if you want to actually use this audio, you're either going to need two devices, the radio device or the audio player device. So if I grab the radio device, let me grab it. This is what the radio device looks like. And then you also want the audio player. And this is is what the audio player looks like. This used to be the speaker device, so it's now the audio player device. Now, the difference between the radio and the audio player is that the radio is specifically built for looping audio and the audio player is for a single instance. Now, you can put looping audio into the player, but it works better in the radio. And you also can put, like, you know, in only one time audio into the radio, but again, it doesn't work as well. So, you know, if you're going to use looping audio, use the radio. If you're going to use one time audio, use the audio player. Now, for the actual settings, inside of these it's over here now for the audio there's a bunch of like you know audio already in the game if you want to put your audio into this you can go to cut and drawer uh, you can go find your audio but if you try to throw it in as you're going to notice it you can't so how do you get it in that's very strange because i can't put my my, my audio into the, the radio but with the, the audio player i can i can put it in there so what's happening that's because the radio requires a cue to work and how do you make a cue well when you right click on any audio you go to the top here you can you see an option called create cue you want to click on that and that will create a new cue i'm gonna call it screaming because it's screaming <laughs> so we now have an audio cue of this right here now if i were to go back into the radio you can now see that i can now put it onto the radio that's important to note if you can put files or cues into the audio player but you can only put cues into the radio now it also inside of the cue if you want to make the audio loop because the radio won't do it itself you need to make it you need to turn on an option to loop it so if you click inside of it and then you need to click on this then right here you need to turn on the option of looping and now the the screaming will loop wow how lovely okay now explain this simply both of these devices kind of have the same options so the volume in both of these means uh, it's a multiplier on the audio like you know volume so one would be just normal audio two would be like you know two times as loud uh, 0.5 would be you know half as loud four is the four is the max can't go higher than four visible in game just means uh if you press junior keyboard you right now can see they're not invisible in game if i click this on you can see they're visible in game fade in duration is how long it takes for the audio to fade in and fade out duration is how long it takes the audio to fade out so this is very important to know that um if i play make this five seconds once i click play it'll fade in for five seconds from no volume to full max volume over the course of five seconds so it's like a little like fade in and fade out after let's say the signal of stop is played five seconds after that it'll slowly go down so it'll play for another five seconds after you stop it but it'll slowly be decreasing in volume until it's at zero now enable during phase is pretty self-explanatory uh if it's enabled during phase that was pretty simple 
Where start audio when activated means if you do the play events again, the audio will play again, if that makes sense. If you're in the middle of a song and you press play again, if it's on, it'll go back to the start of the song. If it's off, it'll just keep going and ignore it until it ends and then, then you can play it again. Play on hit just means if the player hits it with a pickaxe or something or, or gun, it'll, it'll play an audio. You can turn this on or off if you want, it doesn't really matter. Can't be heard by is important because it's very, it's very important. You can do everyone, instigator only, registered players only, or non-registered players only. So the difference between all of these is that everyone is every player. Instigator only is whoever triggers the play function will hear the audio. Registered players only means whoever is registered in the device on this channel. So let's say the, ch the player walks into a, a trigger, will hear the audio. And the opposite is for non-registered. Now play location is where yeah, you know it plays. Now the device is obviously the device. So the source of the audio will be coming from the device. So you'll be able to hear it from here. Local player is the closest player to the device. Uh, registered players is every single registered player who's been registered. And instigating player is whoever you know instigates it on play. Playback speed is also very useful if you wanted to go twice as fast they scream be twice as fast and do that if you wanted to if you want it to be extremely painful and slow you can do it at one eighth the speed mesh is just if you want a custom mesh for it look at that it's now a cone specialization is uh, basically means is the audio like can you hear it around you that makes sense so specialization will turn off the the audio around you if i'm over here i can hear it in my right ear but if i'm over here i can hear it in my left ear that's what specialization would do and volume attenuation means um how far away can you hear the noise until you stop hearing it or how close can you get to it until you hear the full volume of it now to see this you can turn on uh visuals if I, if I press g you can now see this is the range this little circle here is where the max amount of volume will be and this circle is where the the, the volume reaches zero so you won't be able to hear it anymore if i make the minimum distance about 17 in this area is where i'll hear the maximum amount of noise so all of this will be the with a full volume and once i leave it it'll start going down so like as i walk out it'll get quieter and quieter but while i'm in here it's going to be the same constant volume no matter how far away i am from it and this is just you know the fall off distance so you can make it as big as you like but you can't make it smaller than the the minimum sync player audio will just sync player audio uh auto play so if you wanted to play on round end or or gameplay gameplay is when the round begins you can do that if you want same thing with the radio as you can see all these settings are pretty much the same okay so hopefully that explains the radio and audio player device we're gonna go some we're gonna do some cooler stuff now we're gonna go into making cues and using all the different tools and side cues to make some cool cues you know what i mean so inside your queue you probably made earlier let's just go inside of that um there's a few options on the side here you're probably gonna see all of these concassinator crossfade by distance delay doppler enveloper looping mixer modulator oscillator random wave player uh, so all of these do their own thing if you want to know what a wave player is it's literally just this, this is what a wave player is so let's start with the simplest one which is random you can probably guess what this does basically you can make random sounds play from a, a cue so let's say if you wanted more sounds than this let's say if you wanted more screaming noises for some reason you want to plug this into here and then plug this into output okay i just quickly imported more screaming noises you know like usual like normal people do anyways um put these into here any audio and if you want to randomize it um you can put it plug it in here now you're gonna notice there's not enough inputs so we can put it here to add an input and then we can add our all of our audio you can add, you can add lots of inputs um you can also uh you can also delete them by pressing this and delete input this will randomize our screams when we up go up here and play the cue now this is completely random, okay? And I was picking out a random all my screaming noises. Now, another thing is looping. And what looping can also do is you can make it so you, like, it only loops for a certain amount of time. So let's have I only want this screen to go like two times instead of looping infinitely. You can turn that on if you want. Next up, we got delay. And what delay can do, is add delay to one of our audios. So let's say if I wanted to add some delay to this one. What I can do is I can add delay of, you can set a minimum and maximum, and it's gonna pick a random number in between. Now, another thing you can do is concatenating, which basically means, instead of randomizing, concatenator, what it does, it'll play everything in subsequential order it goes down from one two three so uh, i'll play this one first you can see as you, as you can see it's playing every single one after each other very nice very nice now another really helpful one is the oscillator and the oscillator will help you if you want you can change the much like the volume you modulate the pitch you change the amplitude the frequency and stuff like that very nice another really useful one is the mixer and the mixer does what 
what you expect, it's gonna mix the audio. So if I were to put these together, one, two, and three, and then I put in the output, it's gonna play all of them at the same time. <laughs> and last but not least, there's also the Doppler, which you can use to make the Doppler effect. And if you don't know what the Doppler effect is, uh, the Doppler effect is the change in frequency of a wave in relation to the observer who is moving relative to the source of the wave. Basically, you know when a car goes past, when a car comes towards you, the sound waves are pitched up because the speed of the car is compressing the waves together. And while it's going away, it sounds deeper because the waves are getting further and further apart because the car is moving away. Anyways, you can make things sound like this, for example. Just like a car passing by, using this, which is very nice. Onto attenuation. Now, to use attenuation, you need to make a sound attenuation asset. So we'll make that right now. In here, this is kind of like what we had inside of the speaker where it has an inner radius where it has the maximum volume and a fall off distance where it'll reach zero it's the exact same thing now with this asset you can put it into here now we have attenuation inside of our sound cube now next up we're going to learn how to use audio inside of a cinematic sequence which is pretty easy so right click here go open the cinematics we'll make a level sequence if you don't have to do this i have a tutorial on all of it um this is what we call i'm gonna call audio up inside here you can press add and you can add an audio track and you can add in here is where you'll be able to use all your audio if you click this little button you can see you can have all your different cues now with this audio we can do a few things um see these little like little like little yellow triangles we can fade in the audio you're using them by you know dragging them in so that's gonna like fade into it you see that now what you can also do is override the attenuation so right now we're using this attenuation oh wait where is it we're using this attenuation but let's say if you want to override it right click here go into properties and then go into override attenuation and then you can override the attenuation with something else well i don't have anything else but um you can override it with anything else you can also change if the loops are not in here and also the sound now you're probably wondering how would i use attenuation in a sequence the audio it doesn't exist if it's in a if in a, it's in a sequence not physical in the world now how does that even work so if you want to make it physical in the world first i'm going to add a little cube what we need to do is we can click on this cube and add it to the sequence right here and then in here we can you can add cube to it now the sound will be attached to this cube hear that now I want to turn on the Doppler option. Uh, I'm gonna put that like that, so we can hear it. It moves very quickly past me. I'm gonna go right here, and we're gonna hear it. Doppler effect zoom scream. You can also key pitch if you want to make it so it goes from one pitch to like slow it down, and then you can make it speed up again. You now can do that. So you can do that, and you can also change the volume too. So let's say here you wanted it to be half the volume. You want to do back to one over here, so now it's going to go... Okay, anyways, next up is the audio mixer. So search up audio mixer in Fortnite, and you can find it right here. Drag it out. And what this can do, you, this can actually it can control entire audios. <laughs> with this see these user options there's like a bus here now all there's all of these like presets one that you can use and if you don't know what any of these do they're on your screen right now those are what they do and some of the most some of the really good ones is like fort music which hides emote music if you didn't like emote music you can turn it off so if you're doing like a live event or game or you just didn't want um, people spamming emotes while you're trying to, trying to listen to something you can use this to hide emotes you can also use you can do fort explosions fort ambient Fort Footsteps, Fort Gadgets, Fort Global, Fort Hit Notify, Fort Impacts, Fort Jam, Fort Music, Fort Patrick Volume, Fort Vehicles, Fort Vehicles Engine, and Fort Weapon. You can also register players at unregister, so only certain players can hear footsteps or something like that, which is very useful. And it's also, you know, can be only heard by registered and non-registered. So if I only wanted footsteps to be heard by, let's say, non-registered players, if I register a player to this device, they won't be able to hear footsteps anymore. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with everybody watching this video. I have no idea 
how buses and mixes work, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? You have to be some like professional audio technician to know any of this, which I'm not. So in the description of the video, I've linked some tutorials that might help you. If you want to actually use, uh, you make your own buses and mixes. But for now, I, I think this, this should be fine. On that disappointing ending, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and use my code in the Fortnite item shop. It would be very kind if you would. And watch all of these videos for my other UEFN tutorial content. That's about it. See you all around.